All right, so I don't think everybody quite understood what the clone of mouse, mouse, mouse lab was supposed to get you at. If you'll take a look, I'm going to click through and show you exactly what you're supposed to do. So you have three different mice, Mimi, Megdo, and Momi that you are using in this cloning experiment. So let's go ahead and start. <laughs> click on Mimi. It first will pop up with the three mice in your tools. So you have the brown mouse, which is Mimi, Megdo, black mouse, and the white mouse, which is Momi, which is the surrogate mother. We are cloning Mimi, the brown mouse. So we have to take somatic cells from Mimi. Megdo is supplying our egg. We'll extract the DNA out of the egg and insert the somatic DNA into the egg cell from Megdo. And then that diploid cell will now be placed into Momi and will carry the cloned mouse to term. So it goes through and is going to show you the different steps that are used in order to clone a mouse. So we talked about this in class and we looked at all the different steps within the process. But if we click through, what it, what it wants you to do is remove the somatic cell from Mimi and the egg cell from Megdo. So we remove the cells. And now the step two, remove and discard the nucleus from the egg cell. So I have to take the egg cell, put it underneath the microscope, and I'm going to use my tools. I have to use the blunt tip pipette that is going to basically apply some suction and hold the egg cell steady so I can very precisely remove the nucleus which contains the DNA with the sharp pipette. So you get all these awesome sound effects and we have inoculated the egg cell by taking the DNA out. So now we move the egg cell into the transfer dish and we also put the somatic cell into the transfer dish. That goes up back up underneath the microscope. And now we have to take the blunt pipette, pipette me, again, hold the somatic cell in place, hold it steady, use the sharp pipette to remove the nucleus. And now that I've taken the nucleus out of the somatic cell that has the DNA from the Mimi mouse that I want to clone, I'm now going to put that DNA into the empty egg that we got from Megdo. It gives you this egg timer, it's got to sit, it's got to basically incubate, get ready to be reprogrammed, reused, so that we can ultimately get our clone at the end. So we're in step three. Transfer the somatic cell nucleus into the inoculated egg cell. Click the next step. Okay. Now we have to simulate cell division. So in order, after fertilization has occurred, we have this, those cells have to go through mitosis so that it can go through the regular cell cycle of G1, S, G2 so that we can start to get a multicellular organism. So we add this um, super special sciencey liquid called Divitalox so that it can begin to divide and create a, a basically a ball of cells, approximately 16 cells, so that it can be implanted into the surrogate mother mouse. Okay. Move to the next step, step five. Okay, so we're going to implant the embryo into Momi, who is a surrogate mother. So I take this nice ball of clone cells and I'm going to stick it into her womb. And she's going to wait, and after a couple of days, a couple of months, she is going to basically be carrying a baby that is going to be genetically identical to the mouse that we got the somatic cell from, which would be Mimi. Click to deliver the baby. So now I have a mouse. So congratulations, you've created a baby mouse, also called a pup, of Mimi. What color do you think the mouse pup will be? So again, Mimi was brown, Megdo was black, and Momi was white. If we are producing a clone, 
It has to be a 100% exact match to the individual that we were cloning. We were cloning Mimi. Mimi is brown. We have all of Mimi's DNA inside of that egg cell that was donated by Megdo. Megdo and Momi are just pawns in this game. The only genetic information that is used is that for Mimi. So when it's asking what color am I, it's going to be brown because it's a mini Mimi because we cloned the Mimi mouse. And it talks about did this really happen, it gives you a example of how in 1998 scientists actually did this at the University of Hawaii. Just a little bit of information on that and then it allows you to do the cloning process again. Hopefully that helps you a little bit understand exactly why you did this um, because I think there was a lot of confusion there. Um, if you have any other questions about the cloning process, um, please stop me and ask me in class so that I can clear up any misconceptions for you. Thank you.